Russia's tank reserves from Soviet era are also running out. Situation is approaching critical level. Russia is losing a lot of tanks in the war against Ukraine and is quickly approaching the point where it can no longer compensate for these losses. Probably by the summer of 2026, the Russian Federation will exhaust its existing Soviet reserves of more or less modern T-72 and T-80 tanks. OSINT analyst Kovert Kabal has calculated. He noted that for a long time, Russia relied primarily on stocks of T-72 tanks, which were removed from warehouses, repaired and modernized, and then used to replace tanks lost in the war. However, the pace of restoration of these tanks is gradually slowing down due to the fact that fewer T-72s suitable for repair remain in warehouses. To cover the gap, Russia has also begun to pull the more difficult to repair and upgrade T-80 tanks out of storage. Once the T-72 and T-80 stocks run out, the Russian military will be forced to rely on a trickle of new T-90 series tanks and the remnants of the ancient T-55 and T-62 tanks, the analyst said. According to Kovert Kabal, there are currently six T-80 tank storage bases in Russia. The analyst acquired satellite images of these bases to determine how many of these tanks the Russians still have. According to his calculations, before the war, there were approximately 1,200 T-80 tanks in relatively good condition in the open air. Currently, satellites detect a total of only about 300 of these tanks at Russian storage bases. The question remains how many of these tanks are in the garages where satellites cannot see. The analyst estimates that at the current rate of tank decommissioning, Russia will exhaust its T-80 reserves around mid-2026. Considering those that could theoretically be in garages, this point will not be much further in time. After all, first, those vehicles that were in the best technical condition go to the front. Apparently, these are the ones that were stored in garages. And only then did the Russians take on those tanks that were parked in the open air. At the same time, Kovert Kabal notes that the pace of decommissioning tanks is gradually slowing down because there are fewer and fewer tanks suitable for repair and those that exist require increasingly significant and lengthy repairs before being sent to the front. The analyst believes that there will never be a complete depletion of modern tanks in the Russian troops. Gradually, their number in the troops will become less and less, and therefore they will be less actively thrown into battle, and the rate of their destruction will also gradually fall. This means that Russia will actually only have a small number of old tanks left, along with a very small number of new T-90 tanks that they can produce. And once they reach that level, they will have real problems. Kovert Kabal concludes. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry confirmed that the defense forces were destroyed by the Russian Space Communications Center during the evening missile attack on the temporarily occupied Crimea on June 23. The Ukrainian defense forces continue to reduce the enemy's combat potential and capabilities. In particular, this week was marked by the destruction of the Russian Space Surveillance and Communications Center in temporarily occupied Crimea which is an important military component in the satellite communications and navigation system for the Russians. In addition, the department reported on the destruction last week by the defense forces of the OSA anti-aircraft missile system, the Su-25 attack aircraft and two Grad BM-21. The satellite recorded traces of fires on the territory of a Russian military facility in the village of Vitino near Yevpatoria, where explosions occurred on June 23. Separate satellite images captured by Sentinel appeared to back up claims of large-scale blazes on the grounds of the site. The details emerged after reports of Ukrainian forces launching multiple U.S.-supplied atoms in the direction of Crimea, which was illegally annexed by Moscow in 2014. Footage shared on social media appeared to show four Ukrainian M270 rocket launchers firing eight missiles into the night sky. Shortly afterwards, Crimean Wind, a local channel on the Telegram messaging app, shared a separate video that suggested that the Space Communications Center had been hit during the Atticum's raid. Other channels shared reports from locals claiming to have heard loud explosions and reports of ambulances being dispatched to the area. The complex is known to house systems for deep space communications that support manned and robotic space missions. 
It had reportedly been struck by an air-launched British-supplied Storm Shadow cruise missile in a raid in December last year. There are understood to be other Russian military installations positioned in the area.